Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of my 2013 video series on using Google Calendar. In this video we're going to talk about syncing our Google Calendars with our mobile devices. I'm going to be doing it on an iPhone, uh, but if you have an Android device the process is pretty similar. It can be kind of annoying. It sounds like an easy task, but it does take a little bit of extra clicks online here to get your calendar synced. So I hope this video helps. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos in the series. I'll link them in the description of this one on YouTube and enjoy it everyone. Okay, so here I am in my Google Calendar, and if you take a look at the left side of my screen, you'll notice that all my calendars are hidden right now. This is actually my personal Google Calendar. It's different from the one that we've been using throughout this series. The reason I'm using this one is because it's already synced with my iPhone, and I want to show you how that works. So you'll notice that I have all these calendars over on the left. Anson Alexander, Apple Work, Birthdays, Lauderdale, Sophia's Classes, Tasks, and then down here, Clinic and U.S. Holidays. Just to show you, I'm going to go into the Google Calendar on my phone and I'm going to show you that I have all of these calendars synced. So if you take a look at my phone, I'm going to take a screenshot of this too in case you can't see it very clearly, but you'll notice that I have all of these calendars. I've got the Anson A4 at gmail.com, that is the Anson Alexander calendar. I've got Apple Work, Birthdays, Clinic, Lauderdale, Classes, U.S. Holidays. So I've got all of those calendars already in my iPhone. However, if I go ahead and I add a new calendar, for so for some of you, this might be your first calendar that you're adding. So I'm back on my computer screen here, and I'm just going to go and I'm going to create a new calendar, and I'm going to call this Mobile Test Calendar. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and create that calendar. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll wait for it to show up, and then I'll just add quickly an event for today. I'll just call this a test event, just so we have an event to look at. Okay. Now real quick, I'm just going to hide all of the events of my current calendars on my phone so that we don't see anything. And now you would think that because my Google account is linked to my phone, that that new calendar would automatically sync with my phone. It would be great, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. So if I look at my calendar list, I can go ahead and I can even I can quit out of the calendar app. If I just quit out and I go back in, it's still not going to be there. I can go to calendars, and my mobile test calendar is not going to be in there. We actually have to sync it from within our browser, from our computer. So back here in Google Calendar, what I'm now going to do now that I've created this additional calendar, this would work even if somebody shared a calendar with you. If somebody shared a calendar, it would go in other calendars, it would not show up on your mobile device until you went through this syncing process. So once you have your calendar either shared with you or created that you want to sync with your mobile device, you're going to go to the right side of Google Calendar on your computer and you're going to click on the gear drop down for the settings. You'll notice that there's an option towards the bottom that says sync with mobile device. Go ahead and click on that option and you get this kind of how-to page for Google and it kind of takes you through or around in circles here a little bit but you'll notice that if you have an Android device you can follow these instructions and if you have iOS you can follow these instructions. So you can read all through it. It shows you how to add a new Google account to your phone which you probably already have done. I will show you that quickly at the end here but when you add a Google account that's great. I added a new calendar. My Google account's already there so how do I get that new calendar on? Well if you go down to the bottom you'll notice that there's this step that says sync multiple calendars. And if we click on that, it gives us a web address to go to that's google.com slash calendar slash sync select. Yeah, they don't make it easy. But when you click on that particular link, it takes you to your Google sync settings. And you'll notice that right now my mobile test calendar is checked. However, I still am not seeing it on my iPhone. So what I can go ahead and do is go ahead and I can hit that save button making sure that the mobile calendar is checked and then all of a sudden when it says that my sync settings have been saved if I look back in my iPhone I'm just looking at the list of events I see that I have a test event so I know that that event came in if I go to my calendars you'll now see that the mobile test calendar is listed now if I add another calendar right away on my my desktop Google Calendar sometimes it will automatically sync it but a lot of times that calendar will show up as either unchecked or it just won't have been saved yet and you won't be able to see that calendar on your mobile device. So make sure you're doing that. If you, hadn't, if you haven't added your Google account at all on your iPhone, 
you can go into your settings and then go down to mail contacts and calendars. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit add an account. Whoops, I hit the wrong button there. You're going to hit add an account and then you're going to choose Gmail and you're just going to enter your email address and password for your Gmail account. It's going to ask you whether you want to sync your mail and your contacts and your calendars or just your calendars, whatever you want to do. And that will bring your Gmail calendars in to your Apple Calendar app. But if you add a new calendar to Google, you might have to go through this sync process. It can be kind of confusing and frustrating if you're unaware that you've got to do that. So definitely um, make sure that your calendars are coming over to your mobile device. If they're not, go ahead and sync it on your desktop computer so that you can see events when you're on the go. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Don't forget to check out those other four videos in this Google Calendar series for 2013. There's also going to be some more coming up. I know I'm gonna be doing one on labs and advanced settings in Google Calendar. So those are something to look forward to. I really appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving me here on YouTube and on AntsonAlex.com. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel for technology tips, tricks, and updates on all sorts of software and hardware. And that's all I've got for you for right now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.